Hi, welcome to this new tutorial. We are going to review the new decal tool from Sanctus Library. So if you're interested, let's get started. Okay, the first uh, thing you will notice is that there's a new button here. You press here. Here you have the category. You can change category by pressing on one of these items from the menu. Once you have the decal that you want to add, you press Add Decal and you get this guide to select the face where the decal will be placed. Uh, in our case, we are going to place it here. You will have all the options on the modifiers tab. And by default, the decal is applied. I will show you what, what I'm talking about in a moment. If you want to move it, you can do it like this, but you, you, you may find moments when, when the decal is not working. I will explain what's going on. Here, uncheck the apply. We will see the what's really going on. We have the decal here and we have this box that is activated with the guide. Shows you uh, where the decal will, will go to find mesh to attach to. You can change that range here. So for example, if I move the decal out and decrease a bit the distance, now that it's not touching the object, if I hit apply, nothing will, will show up. So you have to make sure that this area here is intersecting with the object, the target object. One way to move it around easily is to use snap. You will have to select face project, median, align rotation to target. This way, if I grab, you can move it around and it will be easier to place, replace your decal. Even if even applied, this works quite fine. So you can see how this works. When what you see here is again, if we, for example, let's see there, for example, you can always uncheck the apply and see what's going on. For example, in this case, as you can see here, the corners are not intersecting. So I have to increase the projection distance. Once it's completely inside the other object, if I hit apply, it will work. Okay, in this case, I will place it here. If you want to, for example, rotate the, the decal, you have a control here. You also have a control for the scale. In this case, we are going to show the emission. We can change this to, for example, 10. And we have a emission the decal. Let's try something different. I will use signs. Let's try this one here. There's also a metallic switch here. We can change the roughness. We are going to add another one. Let's see a more tricky part here. A decal. We place it here. As you can see in this border, this is not complete. So again, we can check and apply. And we see that the corners here are not inside. So we just increase this a bit. We hit apply and that's working now. Again, for example, if we rotate and we see that there's a part missing here, we have a few options. We can scale it down and also increasing a bit the, the range. There's also a damage control. This is procedural, so it will work on any decal. There are a few controls that you can also use, there's a, a damage texture scale. You can combine it with the damage control to get the desired look. And the seed will rotate and change a bit the texture. There's also a detail in the color, the coloration here. You can make a few as you can see here and here, a few stains or whatever there. Let's try a different one. I will use this one here. And I will place it here. We also have the option to replace the color. So in this case, this will work, of course, uh, on the decals that have transparency. So we replace the color. We can make it a bit less 
I think you can use metallic or you can use the mission damage. The damage also has this, like this was like tear apart, like if this was paper or something. And you can change the color here. And you can also disable it completely, depending on what you're looking for. You also have the option to swap uh, in real time. So if maybe this is the correctly placed, but you don't like the, the decal or want to change it, so we can just go to a different one and swap image. You can try different ones. You can also add your custom decals here. You just press here, it will browse in the local folders. I will select some random image. It will work the same way, so I'm, I will place it here, for example. And as you can see, I added just a render of this same box. The decals get uh, parented to the target object, so if you move this around, everything will be fine. Now we will see a few things to have in mind when you are working with this new tool. First, you have to be sure that the object where you are going to apply them has the scale applied. So you can control A, apply, scale. These infinite uh, sharp borders generate uh, shading artifacts. So you may, for example, see in this case, for example, if we add a, a bevel, decrease the distance, and you can see immediately how this is looking way better. There's also, for example, if we place this here, you will see that you also see the, the decal on the other side because the, the box uh, also finds uh, this mesh. We have a remove back face uh, checkbox that will take care of that. So in that case, you can use that. I'm working on animated decals for the next update. It will be more incorporated in the UI, but for the moment, if you want, for example, to use uh, animations, you can, you can, using a video with alpha. I will use one I have already prepared. I select the number of frames that the video has, side click, auto refresh, and as you can see, we can use that, for example, on the screen. And everything will affect it also. So you can, for example, replace the color, add a mission. And everything else. So maybe you want to try that. And I will be adding some for the next update. Okay, I think that covers pretty much everything. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.